in one of the previous sections when we were explaining architecture, features and capabilities of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution, we also mentioned and talked in a high-level scope about Endpoint Detection and Response feature of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution. So let's say hypothetically that even with all security controls and preventions executed by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solutions, some malicious file escapes all lines of defense and gets executed on endpoint machine. In that case, Microsoft Defender's endpoint detection and response, so-called EDR's background capabilities. So to say, its sensors will alert system about suspicious activities caused by that malicious file. Which means endpoint detection and response feature acts as a post-execution line of defense in chain of actions in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution. After attack surface reduction and threat and vulnerability management and Microsoft Defender antivirus. Accordingly to that, we can say endpoint detection and response feature plays its part in responding to security issues in your organization's environment very powerful capability of Microsoft Defender Endpoint Detection and Response feature is its ability to identify and stop threats even after that threat has been executed. To do that properly, Microsoft Defender Endpoint Detection and Response feature is very closely connected with Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Because Microsoft Defender Antivirus can stop threats, while endpoint detection and response component identifies threats based on specific behavior of various entities on endpoints. Based on type of that interaction between endpoint detection and response component and Microsoft Defender antivirus, there are three types of malicious file blocking that happen on endpoint machines. Feedback loop blocking or rapid protection, client behavioral blocking, and endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode. We will explain all of these three types of blocking. Let's start with how feedback loop blocking or rapid protection works. Feedback loop blocking or rapid protection is built on top of so-called rapid protection loop engine that examines and matches up data with other signals since all endpoint machines onboarded to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution are sharing signals detected by Microsoft Defender Antivirus to be able to make a decision about is that particular file going to be blocked or not. As its name says, that examination, matching and decision happens very quickly, which results in rapid malware blocking and therefore in rapid organization protection. Client behavioral blocking is in its essence the combination between endpoint detection and response capabilities and Microsoft Defender antivirus. As we know by now that Microsoft Defender antivirus uses its local capabilities to deal with threats. With its local machine learning models it decides for files whether they are good or bad in milliseconds, almost in real time, and instantly blocks it on endpoint machine if it decides it is a threat. And in a particular cases, when suspicious activity is spotted locally, it interacts and consults with cloud instance of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution to be able to provide additionally threat prevention actions that cannot be done locally and to raise an alert in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Administration Portal, so that you as an IT person can investigate that alert and take necessary actions. But at the same time, threat has been blocked locally. So generally, idea of how client behavioral blocking is, that when Microsoft Defender antivirus spots suspicious behavior, threats or attacks, it will collect necessary data related to it and send it to the cloud protection instance of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution for further actions. And at the same time, 
it will instantly block thread locally on endpoint machine. Similar as with feedback loop blocking or rapid protection, all of these will be done in almost real time, alongside with blocking on affected endpoint machine, in case that file is found to be malicious. Of course, for all activities detected to be suspicious, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution will generate an alert that is going to be visible to you in a Microsoft Defender for Endpoint administration portal. So you can then investigate that alert and take action if you conclude so. As you may conclude it by now, client behavioral blocking alongside with feedback loop blocking or rapid protection works very well to prevent attacks and threats on endpoint machines. Now let's explain endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode. Basically, endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode is capability of endpoint detection and response feature that enables blocking malicious content in case when Microsoft Defender antivirus is not set it to active mode, but instead is set it to passive mode. And that would be a use case when Microsoft Defender antivirus is not primary antivirus, or to say when third party antivirus system is used in that particular organization. That is use case where EDR in the blocking mode is primarily recommended. But even if your organization uses Microsoft Defender antivirus solution for endpoint machines protection, endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode is still recommended, since that will enable Microsoft Defender for endpoint to block so-called post-breach malicious activities, or to say, ones that already passed all lines of defense, as well as antivirus agent on endpoint machine, being it Microsoft Defender antivirus or some third-party antivirus solution. Endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode will allow Microsoft Defender antivirus to execute blocking actions on post-breach detections, as we told. So, when endpoint detection and response in blocking mode detects suspicious and malicious behavior, which has been missed by previous lines of defense, like antivirus agents and else, it will stop that content from execution and block and remediate it, and report it to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Solution, where it will be visible to you in a portal and available for you to further investigate. Let's check what we just told in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Administration Center. Now that we are positioned in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Administration Portal, let's see how we can enable endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode. So to do that, we need to go to the settings. On the settings, we need to choose endpoint. And then we go on advanced features. And here you can see enable EDR in a block mode. I'm not going to enable it yet. Once that setting is enabled, that means in a moment suspicious behavior is detected, it will be blocked on endpoint machine in almost real time, even though it is already running, something which we explained previously. Important to note is that enabling or disabling this setting is not something that can be tested on a certain number of endpoint machines, because it is tenant-wide setting. I'm not going to enable it yet, because I first want to show you how things are going in a case when endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode is not enabled. To show you that, recently I ran ransomware infection attack simulation on my endpoint machines called Test Machine 2, Test Machine 3, and Test Machine 4, in a time when endpoint detection and response blocking mode has not been enabled. So let me show you that. You can see here on Evaluation and Tutorials, on Evaluation Lab, and if I go on Simulations, so these are attack simulation I recently mentioned. So now I will go to incidents and alerts. 
to alerts pane. And here I will open any alert where impacted asset is one of these three machines and detection source is EDR. So I will open for example this alert. And I will scroll down on the bottom right. And here you can see detection source is EDR and detection status is detected. But since endpoint detection and response is not in a blocking mode, nothing has been done on top of that. Now we will enable endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode and explain how that will change things. So again, let's go to the settings. So let's go to endpoints. Again, advanced features. And this time we will enable EDR in a block mode and save preferences. Now let's run some ransomware infection attack simulation as we did before turning block mode. As we did before turning block mode setting for endpoint detection and response and explain how things will behave differently when endpoint detection and response is set to blocking mode. So to do that, let's go to Evaluation and Tutorials again. Let's select Evaluation Lab here. Simulations. So now, when I enabled EDR in a blocking mode, if I choose this Create Simulation and create some new attack ransomware simulation, I would need to wait some time that simulation gets executed on that machine and at this time results will not be just malware detection as we have seen before but it's automatic prevention as well since we have just enabled endpoint detection and response in a blocking mode. And that's it for this lesson. In next lesson of this section we will talk about automated investigation and remediation so called AIR.